what is up guys welcome to the channel so the reason why you clicked on this video is because you want to make $30 an hour doing woodworking now what I'm about ready to show you is sort of a seasonal thing but I'm gonna also show you some options that you can do that's not seasonal but let's dig right into the video so what I've been doing and how I've been making $30 an hour is I have been making graduation caps here recently so I'm just doing the graduation caps that the students can decorate themselves because obviously we're in this COVID-19 pandemic and um, a lot of graduations aren't happening well pretty much all graduations in the United States are not happening so what we're doing is we're allowing the students to decorate their hats and put them out in the front yard saying a graduate lives in that house so that's one option that you can do so this whole process of cutting them out of the board and making these takes me about seven minutes each and we are selling these for eight dollars a piece so that's one way you can do it now another thing is is just recently if you watch my previous videos we did egg cutouts so when we did these egg cutouts like this right here for Easter the kids would decorate these eggs and then they would um, place them in their neighborhood and we would actually have an Easter egg hunt with these eggs so I made over 533 of these and these we actually sold to the neighborhood pretty cheap you can get more out of them but we sold them for two dollars a piece so that right there is another option that you can do and then the next thing is is one of our biggest money making things let me move these out of the way are these right here so these are cupcakes that actually go into the front yard of a person with a birthday and it says I'll show you my daughters here so this is the this is the finished product so these right here we are selling for 20 and um, those are definitely a money-making option of what you can do so let me go into a little bit of the setup that you need to do these kind of things and make up the $30 an hour so two saw horses is what I have here and that's to lay the board on to be able to cut it out so I got the board up here which is a four by eight sheet of underlayment and the underlayment board actually cuts really nicely so that's the reason why I use the underlayment for this and another piece that you need so you got the saw horses and you have the underlayment so we got the board and we got what the board lays on so what I do is I draw a template just like I have the template here for the graduation caps and then all the different school colors and then another thing is is you need a jigsaw to be able to cut these out now the jigsaw that I use is the Chicago electric jigsaw you could pick these up really cheap and they're inexpensive so you don't need much to get started with this I just have a clean cut wood blade on there and that is from Harbor Freight also this tool right here does an awesome job so for the fine cuts I have the scroll saw I also did a review on this so if you're looking to get a scroll saw maybe check out the review on the scroll saw and um, check in to get one of these from Harbor Freight also it's the central machinery brand but this works great it's made me a lot of money and it is still working flawlessly so the next thing is just a decent drill you don't need an expensive drill you don't need anything like that just a decent drill so you can drill holes for door hangers so this is the warrior oh, got a little shadow there this is the warrior 18 volt lithium this drill is awesome I also did a review on this drill and I can say that this drill is great for 
any woodworking that you don't have to have a ton of power for, but it's perfect for just drilling holes for door mounts and stuff like that. So this drill, check that video out. So the next thing is, is a miter saw. So my miter saw is also from Harbor Freight. So this is not a sponsored video from Harbor Freight. This is just what I have. So it's the Chicago Electric miter saw. I do have the 12 inch, but this miter saw is absolutely great. And um, I've used this for about three years now and it has not let me down. I've used it every day for about three years. It's an awesome miter saw. Definitely looking to get in this. I did not do a review on this yet, but hit that subscribe button and um, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification because the bell notification is going to let you know when I do a review on this. So don't forget to hit that. Now, my next piece of machinery that I have that is very important is a nice shop vac. So I got the rigid NEXT shop vac and uh, this thing is awesome for my dust collection system and it works great if you want to see my review on this I do have a review on that also so rigid NXT awesome product definitely would recommend that one so next thing is you need a waste bin which is my rigid box that my shop vac came in so a waste box for all your wood and clippings off of that. Now my next thing that I have that I absolutely love, which I believe they still sell these, I'm not for sure. So that would be the radial arm saw that I have. So what I do with this is I don't waste a bunch of money on buying stakes. So you can make your own stakes out of the scrap wood so you have less waste. Less waste is always good, guys. So definitely use your scrap wood for making the stakes for the back of the product. That's what I have all stacked up here. It's just the scrap wood that I can cut out and I can make in the stakes and just slide those right in here and just keep on chopping away. So definitely save your scrap wood that's big enough to use for something else. Now the next thing is, is a drill press. So my drill press is pretty big. It's a Walker Turner drill press. And this thing's great. Now the Harbor Freight one, I did use my friend's Harbor Freight one and it is very similar to this one. If you want a comparison, it is similar and they're reasonably priced, I believe. So definitely get you a good drill press. I use this for sanding and uh, just fine cutting the material so you definitely need a drill press and this is the sanding disc that I use you can pick these up at Home Depot that's what it looks like right there mine's a little used up but that's what it looks like these last for a long time so those are great also now as far as the drawing and tracing these are the Home Depot pencils and uh, these are awesome guys. These pencils are great. So they come in a 15 pack with a sharpener and awesome pencils. They're pretty hard to break. So that's good when you're tracing an object, especially when you're doing it repetitively because when you have to stop, sharpen, it gets annoying. And then the other thing that you need is clamps. So these came from Harbor Freight also. I have two foot clamps and um, two feet is about all you really need for this kind of work so definitely get a set of clamps four is probably your minimum number of what you need and I use those for clamping down the stakes after I glue them to make sure they all dry evenly that's what I have this one on here right now for so definitely invest in some clamps these clamps are pretty decent uh, you don't need anything that's going to be a lot of force so definitely invest into that so that's pretty much it for the hardware that you need to start your woodworking business like this now one more thing is you can make these 
So it's just a feast sign that actually goes up on the wall. And I actually got a request to make this by a person. I don't make these very often. These are very time consuming. This one right here took me about a half an hour to make. So these are time consuming, but people will pay money for these. So this one right here, I am selling for 30 just to go up on the wall. It's going to be framed up. It's going to have a piece of underlayment behind it with a uh, frame around it. So these are another option. And this was cut out on that scroll saw. So make sure you check out that video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for my other ways that you can make money. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. But as far as woodworking goes, this is my setup. It's cramped in my garage, and I'm still making $30 an hour doing woodworking. So if I can do it, you can do it. So definitely try to get into this. I mean, have fun with it. I enjoy it every single night coming home from my work and um, cutting these things out. I mean, it's cool, especially the birthday cakes. Those are awesome because you get to go around to the neighborhood that actually bought it and honk for the kid. And it's cool seeing your product out there and visible. So thanks again for watching, guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next one and give you more advice on either mountain biking, the automotive field, or just things that I've bought around the house, the technology that I have, and everything else.